And so uh, the Lord um, asks us to get baptized and it's a commandment, right? It's, it's, it's all over the New Testament. And in fact, uh, we get baptized because we want to make a public confession in front of everybody, in front of witnesses, but more specifically the church. And before God, ultimately, um, telling God and telling our brothers and sisters that, um, you know, we want to pursue Jesus. We want to love on him. We want to commit to him, like, um, in the lows and in the highs, in the future. No matter what happens, right, we're always going to commit to follow Jesus from, from the best of our God-given ability. Follow Jesus. Amen. You guys understand that today, right? And so there's different steps that actually lead to redemption, but also reconciliation to God the Father, because all of us have been separated um, because of sin from God. And so um, the first step is repentance, of course, right? And Jesus came with a mission and he said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. You guys know and are fully aware of what repentance means. Repentance is um, the fact that, you know, you change your attitude uh, you take a step of faith towards God, you leave your past behind, you admit that you're a sinner, and um, you decide to believe in Jesus Christ um, and believe in the grace of God, uh, which was laid out for you through Jesus, um, by Jesus dying on the cross. Amen? Taking upon himself your sins so he would give you his righteousness. And so what we see on the cross is this precious exchange of Jesus taking upon himself our sins and giving us his righteousness. The Bible says that Jesus who knew no deceit, no sin, became sin on the cross so we would be made the righteousness of God in him. So it is because of Jesus doing, because of his finished um, and accomplished work on the cross that we are made whole to me, that we are made righteous, not in not in and of ourselves, not because of our good of our goodness, not because of our actions. The Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and thus that's why we need a savior, right? And our Savior Jesus died for us. So you may uh, uh, make Jesus uh, your Lord and your Savior over your life. Amen? Amen. Uh, Peter also said, repent and get baptized for the remission of sins and then receive the Holy Ghost. Amen? Amen. So, baptism is a commandment that follows that faith that you have in Jesus' finished work on the cross because we are saved by grace through faith. Only that now, faith needs to trigger good works. And so the first work, or the first fruit of that faith is baptism. Water baptism, right? As a proof or a commitment a public one before many, before God, that you're willing to follow Jesus wholeheartedly for the rest of your life. Amen? Amen. Some other people would want to tell us that it's just symbolic. I believe that it's, it's, it's very much symbolic, but aside from it being symbolic, because it is strongly symbolic, it's also very deep and very profound. It is spiritual. And I believe that there's something that happens in the waters of baptism when you get dipped in the water, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, the Bible tells us that when we get baptized, when we when we get into water baptism, we die through the death of Jesus and we resurrect through his resurrection. And so what this symbolizes is what I said earlier. Your immersion in water, right, means that you're dying to self and you're coming anew into the newness of life through Jesus who now is making you a new person. For if any man be in Jesus Christ, he is a new creature. Amen. And so today I want you to understand how important this is. This is crucial. This is not just a, no, no, you know, not like that. No, no. this is not just a symbolic practice. There's a lot going on, you I'm know, sure. that is going to be taking place in here because uh, otherwise Peter would, wouldn't have said, um, get baptized for the remission of your sins. I think that God will clean you completely. And in fact, sometimes we even see people manifesting, right? Yeah. When they get out of the water, they manifest yeah. and um, they receive deliverance. And that's just so awesome because God will be working something out. Now, the water itself is not what's going to cleanse you. It is the it's obedience yeah. behind that public commitment that you make before your brothers and sisters who will hold you accountable, right, for the rest of your walk, even when it gets difficult, right, to continue to press on to always follow Jesus. But it is your heart that God sees also, and the water won't change your heart's condition. It is your obedience because of your faith, mm. therefore you're obeying God. And so God deems that beautiful, and so he grants you the feeling that you will feel when you'll be under the waters of baptism. Amen? Amen. So we covered a couple of points. We said that baptism, first thing first, is 
um, repentance is is no. We say that baptism um, has its symbolism in that in that it goes back to the old traditions that the Jews had, right? Um, and so that's kind of a paradigm there. But then we also say that aside from it being symbolic, it is also profoundly spiritual. Mm. And we also say that it's a public confession before all. And we also said that it's required uh, from God and that it's, com it's a commandment directly from the New Testament and from the words of Jesus. And that we are to obey the commandments of Jesus because faith without works is dead. We pray that you get that you receive the Holy Spirit that you remain in God's presence mm -hmm. um, that you commit to him that you follow after the Spirit that you obey his commandments and that you burn hot for many more years amen mm -hmm. so these three have beautiful testimonies and I just want to say that um, each and every one of them has a testimony on their own and uh, just for the sake of maybe uh, before baptizing you telling the audience that is watching us and those here present or witnessing everything just let us know why this is important for you and why you wanted to commit to Jesus in a couple of words right um, it doesn't have to be a, a, a long testimony just quickly just let us know why you want to do this why do you think baptism is important why is this day important for you and why did you decide to follow Jesus and not look back amen, amen. me it's a very simple answer uh, I've been very lucky all my life. God was with me all my life. Mm -hmm. And the last six months that I've met you, my new family, I've been blessed a lot. God has given me a lot. So I want today to prove to him Amen. that Amen. I'm going to be a good soldier and I'm <laughs> going to follow Everything you want. Hallelujah. 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 If my life goes on until 100, I'll be there for it. By His grace. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. She has been such an inspiration for all of us. She loves the Lord. And of course, all of us still deal with, um, you know, some struggles here and there before we get baptized. But mm -hmm. uh, God will rectify that oh, yeah. along the way, right? And so God is not expecting us to be perfect overnight. No one is perfect overnight, as a matter of fact. But no. God will work in our heart, mm -hmm. and He will mold us um, so we will become more like Him. All right. And so that's the point: is that at the end of your journey, you would look like you're the closest uh, to Jesus that you have ever been. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and so God will work on you. But baptism is a requirement. As I said earlier, we have to get baptized, and we shouldn't delay. Because it's a commitment of okay. God. And so you're ready. I see your heart for the Lord. You have yeah. repented. And I can see your fire. That's contagious. Oh, wow. And so, oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. You're okay. available. You're ready. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, angels are rejoicing in heaven yeah. right now. I just want to let you know. This is the greatest of this this is the greatest day ever. This is like the greatest celebration that can go on. Okay? Yeah. I want you to know that. This is the most important day of your life. I know. Right, because today you are sealed as a child of God. Amen. Amen. Your name is in the book of life as of today. Amen. Amen. Today is the first day of my life. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. What can I tell you? Amen. First day of my life. Amen. Amen. That's awesome. We're so happy for you. We share that joy. Brother Char uh, Charles. Um, so being a Christian. So the reason why I choose to be baptized is because my whole entire life I've been chasing, I've been in sin. So and once I accepted Jesus, I've learned, I've gained more wisdom, mm -hmm. and I, I definitely noticed that following Jesus is the is the right path, and it's much better. Even if I if, even if I suffer, at least I'm suffering for the greater cause, which is the truth. So that is the reason why I want to follow Jesus, and I want to be baptized because well. Ever since I joined this church, I, I feel not only do I feel more humble, but I've gained new friends and new family. So mm -hmm. this is a good way for me to prove to you guys that I truly want to follow the Lord to the end. And well, I don't have anything else to do, so I just want to just follow the Lord and Amen. be with everyone. Amen. Amen. Awesome. <laughs> I the same thing. Sure. Um, I'm so happy to be here. so delightful to be a Christian. Like Jesus Christ was my inspiration since I was a kid. 
And uh, it's meant to be that I should follow him. All my life I believed there was God and he was righteousness. It symbolized Jesus Christ. Like I was in a midlife crisis all my life. He did some miracles that I asked for and it came to life. And like, it's unbelievable. I love him. I will follow him through all my life the best way I can. <laughs> Like I'll let I'll try not to ever let my guard down for Jesus. Amen. Amen. So the love that we have for him, the reason why we do this is not so much for the outcome <laughs> or with the reward at the end, but yeah. more so because we love him because he loved us first. All right. Yeah. And so that's what you need to understand. And let the love of God always drive you and flow yes. inside of you through the Holy Spirit to always make you press forward and always seek his face. No matter what. Amen. Amen. Yeah. All right. So we're going to do this, Brother Colin and I, we're going to get in the waters, mm -hmm. right? So we're going to get our first person, our first candidate to go in with us. And we're going to tell you how to actually uh, face, uh, you know, the one What's where you got to okay. position yourself. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we're limited in terms of space. We have a small bathtub. Well, not really, not nice. really small, kind of a medium-sized yeah. bathtub. It's not so bad. But we're going to get, um, you know, Brother Charles to go first and then second, Adam, and then third, uh, we're going to have to try to, you know, get you in some way that we want, because um, I know you can't bend your knee, right? No, no, right. no, no, because I might uh, get the... Prosthetic yeah. knee. Yeah. Alright, so because of your prosthetic knee, we'll have to figure a way of actually setting you up, get in here. I get in the water? Yeah, get in the water. And what I want you to do is I want you to face this way, alright? So you're getting it on your knees, you know, the closest to the edge. Possible, close as possible to the edge, exactly. All right, so you're facing that um, that way. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'd like you to actually turn this way because there's not a lot of space, so I'm gonna... Okay, so I'm gonna like, keep you backwards, all right? With Brother Carl. Like this? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can sit if you want to. Yeah, but if he sits, he doesn't have enough space, man. I'd rather him be on his knees because there isn't a whole lot of space here, right? Would you, uh, you people watching, you're getting a nice shot of my hairy legs, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, so like this, and yeah, you can lean back, all right? All right, so what I want you to do is put your hands up here on your chest, cross them over, all right? And so, Brother Carl and I, which is going to Keep your back and try to not get your head to hit um, you know, the corner. All right? Okay, so based on your confession of faith and everything that we said earlier, we baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua Ha Mashiach. Oh. Hallelujah! Let us pray for him real quick. I mean, let's all pray for him. Please extend your arms towards him. And let's just say a word of prayer here real quick. Call. Dear Lord Jesus. Yeah. Um, I need you to come and just lay hands on the brother with me, Jeremy, if you want to as well. But Father, we just want to pray for this young man that has given his life wholeheartedly to you, Lord God. And as of today, we know that he's a child of God. His name is written in the book of life of the Lamb. And Father, we know that you're smiling over this young man, Father. You're smiling over his faith and the fact that he has taken that step, Lord God, to go forward with him, to commit to you publicly, Lord, before our brothers and sisters, before this church, and also before you, ultimately, Lord. Father, we pray that you fill him up, Lord God. We pray that he would receive the Holy Spirit from on high. Fill him up, Lord God, to the brim and even more. Let his cup overflow, Lord. For you said, Lord God, that we must repent and get baptized, but also receive the Holy Spirit from on high. So I pray might and power power right now. Holy Spirit of God, I pray that you fill him up in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So this man will become a man of valor, a man after your own heart, a man that is driven, Lord, to follow after you and to love yes. you in all of his ways, yes. Lord God. Let his heart beat for you and desire, Lord God, to passionately follow you, Lord God, in every circumstance, despite of what might come against him, through the ups and the downs, Lord God, that he would always be on fire for you. Let him be a fool for Christ and let him burn hot, Holy Spirit of God, for so many more years, Lord God, until you come back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for this joyous moment. 
as we celebrate this water baptism that is more than just symbolic as we know that lord things are happening right now in the spirit father father touch him give him more of your love and and, and Lord, come to him in, in a more personal sense, in a po more sensible, uh, more personal way, so he may know you even more and deeper, Lord. Father, I pray that he would always rejoice in you, Lord God, and always seek to read your word and pray without ceasing, Lord God, and fight Father's way, Father, every day, even uh, despite, Lord, of what might come against him, Lord God, and what Satan might uh, drive against him, Lord God. Father, we protect him by your holy angels, Lord. And, and we, we, we ask that you may send your ministers and your hosts, Lord, from, from heaven to stand around him, Lord God, to encompass him all around, Lord God, and to also protect him, Father. Let your Holy Spirit, Lord God, grow inside of him, Lord God, and help him to kill the flesh day after day, Lord God, so he may resemble you more. So whenever you come back, he is completely in your image, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Woo! Amen. Amen. God bless you, brother. Can I get a hug? Yeah. Welcome to the family. Hallelujah. Okay, next candidate. Adam, come over here, brother. You're next. In line. Hallelujah. Should I do my shirt? It's gonna get wet. No, no, no. Don't take off your shirt. Oh, my was about to turn bad, but I didn't. Why are you still? Why is that bad? Why for the sake? By the way. Alrighty. So, first the water. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna do it exactly the same way that my last brother did it. You're gonna bend your knees right here and uh, get close to the edge, and then. We're going to look him in the water backwards, all right? Yeah. It's diagonal. Right. Right. Back, diagonal. back like that? Yes. I don't know if I can go up. Let me try. Yeah. Give me a second look. Because I know I'm going to fall like that. Okay. Yeah, that's, I think that's so the part. Don't worry about it, man. Just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. I never did that. Lean, your, lean your, your back a little bit backwards, okay? I can't even go further than no, that. No, it's, it's okay, bro. Don't you worry about it. Your God is in control, all right? All right. <clears throat> So let me ask you this. Once again, do you believe that Jesus died on the cross and that the Father rose him after three days, taking upon himself the penalty of his sin, so you would receive life? You confess him as Lord and Savior. Amen. So based on your confession of faith, we baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 It's all right. It's okay. It's worth it. It's part of the cost of baptism. So we're going to pray for him as well. Lay hands on him. Father, once again, Lord God, we pray for this um, other young man, Lord, of just so far enough for you, Lord. And we thank you, Father, for this great day. We thank you, Lord, for, you know, his commitment, Lord. We thank you, Father, that he is willing, Lord, to go on with this and, Lord, to follow you, Lord, without hesitation, Lord. No doubts whatsoever in his heart, Lord God. He is follow fire for you we have seen and witnessed for the progression ever since he has come to our church and we thank you Lord God for every 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 step along the way Lord God every time you have stepped by his side and helped him Lord God to pursue you to love you Lord he's been very dedicated he has even come out uh, for evangelism Lord God and he has spoken to people Lord he's been on fire and I know that today Lord God is a great day as you're celebrating this man Lord as you Lord your angels, as your angels are celebrating, Lord God. Father, uh, wave your hands of protection around him. Protect this man, Lord God. Be with him, Lord God. Use him for the nations, Lord God. Let him be a mouthpiece, Lord God, speaks for you. Let him be a tongue, Lord God, that will rise, Lord God, to speak, Father, to those that have yet to know you, Lord God, to bring them into your kingdom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, of Jesus. Holy Spirit, fill him up right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, be filled by the Holy Spirit right now. Holy Spirit of God, consume him from the inside out and through, Lord God. Consume his mind, consume his heart. Lord God, fill them up, Lord God, and let his cup overflow, Lord God, because he said that out of their bellies will flow out rivers of living waters. Thank you, Father, for the living waters, Lord God, that will flow outside of this man, Lord God, through his words. 
and through his actions, Lord God. Let him be a testimony, Father, to so many out there, Lord, that people would see him as a luminary, as a fruitful man for God, a tree that bears many fruit, Lord. Let him be that beacon of light, Father, for those that are still in darkness, Lord God, so he would shine the light of Christ, Lord God. And so, Father, his walk, Lord God, his, his actions, Lord, his intentions, his thoughts, everything would be driven, Lord, towards you, Lord. And so he would always glorify everything that he does, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for pouring out a special unction on him. Bring your anointing down on him, Lord God. Let your glory shine through this man, Lord God. Hallelujah. Give him miracles, give him signs, give him spiritual gifts, Lord. Give him the fruit of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Last but not least, the oh. toughest so far. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. C'est fait. Je suis couché. Okay. Et voilà. Amen. C'est ça que Dieu m'a dit pas. Amen. Oh Amen. mon Dieu. Father, in the name of Jesus. So, okay, so we're about to go for it. Okay. Do you confess that Jesus is Lord and Savior? Yes. And you also believe with all your heart. No hesitation, no doubt whatsoever, so that Jesus died, was buried, and then the Father rose on the third day. Amen. Do you believe that Jesus is your Lord and Savior? Once yes. again, amen. 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 So based on your confession of faith, and as ministers of God, my brother and I, and these witnesses, we baptize you in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Oh God. Amen. Okay. That's a good. That's a good. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. Amen. All right. Hallelujah. All right. So we're just gonna pray for her again. Same drill. Let's do this again. All right. So I want you guys to. Raise your hands, extend them, do whatever you want. Let us pray for her real quick. Yeah, thank God. Okay, so Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord God, for a sister. We thank you, Father, for her life. We thank you, Lord God, for all that which you have done so far. We thank you, Lord God, for raising me so and to become a woman of you and all. God, thank you for raising her hand to your ranks, Lord God, as the remnant of the last days. Lord God, thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord God, for taking over right now, Lord God. Thank you for the baptism and thank you, Lord God, for every freedom in the last Wage war against Father. Father Lord. We pray the Lord. Father. Every door of the enemy will be shut right now. And every door of God will be open. Hallelujah in the heavenly places. We thank you for the freedom of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. The Son is free in me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your dedication. Thank you for more time. Amen. Thank you for more fire. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. For more love towards you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you for more faith. Thank you to build up with our righteousness and holiness, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Now we're gonna we're gonna sing a song. Okay. We're gonna sing a song. Oh, to the Lord, she wasn't as bad as you thought. Okay. Amen. Awesome. Hallelujah. The best day of my life. It's the best. That's the spirit, amen. That's the spirit we want to see every time. That's the spirit, yes. amen. I was afraid Hallelujah. like hell when I did it. Hallelujah. I knew God was going to
Amen. Hallelujah. Adam. God is righteousness. God is my hero. Super hero. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Felicitations.